And now the national matters. The national president of the Miti, Allah Kauter Hore Bello Bodija on Saturday, called for the immediate arrest of Yoruba leaders supporting the creation of Amotekun. Bodija claims there is an ulterior motive behind the creation of the security outfit. According to him, the state security agencies are doing well enough to keep the people and their property safe. He added that Amotekung is just an anti-Fulani agenda, one that is being set up to deny the Fulani access to their God-given land. But he just stated his support for the stance taken by the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abakar Malami, who said the security outfit is illegal. For him, not only should the outfit be banned, its proponents should be arrested. And now the Executive Chairman Centre for Anti-Corruption and Open Leadership, Debo Adeniron, joins us via phone to react to this development. Good afternoon, Mr. Adeniron. Can you hear me? Good afternoon, my sister. Now, uh, thanks for joining us on News on the Hour. Let's go straight to the matter. The National President of Mieti Allah has called for the arrest of Yoruba leaders supporting Amotekun. What's your reaction to this? Uh, my reaction is that nobody should be surprised or taken aback by the submission of the uh, Mi, Mi, Mi Yeti Allah leader to the extent that they are the assailants that they believe that a Mantecon will come after if it is allowed to be consolidated. Um, they are the marauders that have been disturbing the peace of that part of the country all over the time that um, uh, issue of uh, banditry, brigandage, and clashes between um, uh, uh, housemen and farmers has been coming up in the southwestern part of the country. And you know that several groups and persons in Nigeria has uh, testified to the fact that Miyeti Allah have been the rampaging uh, marauders that had to be brought under perpetual check. They don't want to be controlled. They don't want to be um, stopped from the destructive activities they've been conducting all over Nigeria. They want to dictate the pace to every government, federal government, state government, local government, on how to run the affairs of their territory. They want to tell traditional rulers and individuals in every community how to run their life affairs. They want to um, work without, uh, I mean, they, 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 want, like, uh, they want to go to operate within everybody's territory, um, operating their economic activities without any uh, legal rules or uh, I mean, I mean legal restraints, rules, regulation, and uh, other uh, uh, instruments that could control their activities. So basically, that is the reason why they don't want Amateko to survive. Meanwhile, they are bearing arms. They are bearing dangerous weapons. They are attacking human beings. They are attacking crops, they are attacking families, they are attacking properties. They don't want anybody to check them. They want a police that they could control. They want a security apparatus that they can bring under their perpetual control. That is why they are opposed to the inauguration of uh, Amatekon, that is Western Nigerian Security Network. Mm -hmm. We believe that they should be ignored, and the IG of police should actually bring them um, for quest. I mean, arrest them for questioning. Why is it that they don't want anybody to bring them under check? All right. Uh, this same group we've had, um, you know, being quoted to have given the Southwest leaders the option of picking between Operation Amotekun and 2023 presidency. What are, what's your thoughts on this? It is you see, the question of politics and uh, governance. It's not dependent on what kind of uh, security arrangement there is. It is also not an index of uh, whether a, 
a kind of region or a, a, a kind of a, a zone is qualified to be president of the country or not. What we are talking about, the security system should be allowed to thrive so that there will be safety of life and property first. Because if a human does not survive the kind of uh, banditry, uh, brigandage, and uh, insurgency that is ravaging different parts of the country, he will not be able to think of contesting election. He will not be able to vote in an election. He will not be able to even witness the done of good governance if there is any. Mr. So Demiro, in the interest I'm... of time, sorry, in the interest of time, well, we'll just go to the next question, which is, you know, there's been conversation in some quarters indicating that this uh, security scheme is generating a lot of controversy uh, because of a lack of proper public awareness. Do you agree to this? I don't agree with that. There, there is proper public awareness. Um, it is a question of ego on the part of some government officials like the Attorney General of the Federation who said that he was not consulted before the outfit was to put together. And there are a number of other public officials, public servants who are saying that because they were not con con um, consulted, the outfit should be dissolved. And I don't believe that security of life and property should be a subject of ego tripping. Mm -hmm. That's I... exactly what we should remove. The, the public, to be served, are well aware of the import of uh, Amateku um, uh, uh, security system. They know what they are out to achieve. They know what advantage there is for uh, an average citizen of the as zone that is involved. So basically, we cannot say the people are saying that they are not aware. It is some of those who would not want it to work that are claiming that the public are not aware. The public are even uh, anxious to be part and parcel of the uh, security outfit because they know the implication of it and they know that it, the time has come for the southwestern part of the country to safeguard his territory against invaders. All right, thank you so very much, Mr. Adeniron, for your time. It is my pleasure. Thank you for having me.